one of the nearly 30 million Americans estimated to have blepharitis, you've likely been experiencing eye and eyelid irritation, crusting or scaling and redness of the eyelid, and either an itchy or burning sensation. Often associated with symptoms of dry eye syndrome, blepharitis is a common and frequently chronic condition that can be difficult to treat and cause discomfort. Blepharitis can also negatively affect your appearance. It can occur regardless of age, occupation, or lifestyle. What is blepharitis? Blepharitis is an inflammation of the eyelids, often close to the base of the lashes. It usually occurs when tiny oil glands between the lashes become clogged. These clogs often produce a crusty or oily appearance with flaking of the skin around the eyelids. The lids themselves may become red and swollen, and blepharitis may cause a gritty, burning, or itchy sensation. While uncomfortable and even unsightly, blepharitis usually does not result in permanent eye damage. What causes blepharitis? There are two types of blepharitis. The first type is anterior blepharitis, which occurs adjacent to the eyelashes. Anterior blepharitis is often associated with bacteria and skin conditions, and often is frequently accompanied by dandruff of the scalp and eyebrows. The second type is posterior blepharitis, which is more commonly called meibomian gland dysfunction. It affects the portion of the eyelid closest to the eyeball, and is recognized as a primary cause of dry eye symptoms. Posterior blepharitis is usually caused by abnormal oil production by eyelid glands and is associated with bacterial overgrowth on the lids. Bacteria present in both anterior and posterior blepharitis release toxins that can cause inflammation of the lids and surface of the eye. Your body releases cytokines, which are messenger molecules, in response to these toxins, which results in white blood cells flooding to the site. You would see this as increased redness, swelling, warmth in the surrounding area, and possibly discharge. How do you know if you have blepharitis? Your doctor will be able to diagnose blepharitis during a comprehensive eye exam. Particular attention will be paid to the condition of your eyelids and the front surface of your eye. External evaluation of the eye includes examination of the lid structures, skin texture, and eyelash appearance. Using bright light and magnification, your doctor will also examine your eyelid margins, the base of the eyelashes, and the meibomian gland openings. He or she may also use advanced technology to image the meibomian glands themselves. Discovery of red eyelids, thickened eyelid margins, missing or misdirected eyelashes, flakes and scales around the base of the eyelashes, hard crusts that leave tiny sores when removed, and blockage of the oil glands will all point to various subgroups of blepharitis and direct the most appropriate treatment. How can blepharitis be treated? There are several ways to treat blepharitis, so talk to your doctor about the treatment that's right for you. However, it's critical in all treatments that the lids are kept clean and free of crusts and clogs. Common remedies include antibiotics, warm compresses, unclogging the oil glands with massage, and lubricating ointments. In addition, it may be recommended that you discontinue using eye makeup and contact lenses during treatment. Because keeping your eyelids clean and free from flaking and crusting is so important to treating blepharitis, your doctor may recommend Avanova. What is Avanova? Avanova is the first prescription, non-antibiotic lid hygiene product on the market containing Nutrox, a fast-acting pure hypochlorous solution mixed with saline. In-solution laboratory studies have shown Avanova to be effective against microorganisms, inflammatory toxins, and the destructive enzymes that usually bacteria on the lid and lashes produce. Pure hypochlorous acid is a natural part of the body's immune response. When harnessed in Avanova, it can provide a first line of defense against many of the potentially harmful effects of dry eye. Laboratory studies have shown it may do this by blocking bacterial enzymes that further degrade the tear film. And unlike antibiotic or steroid treatments, laboratory studies show that Avanova does not lead to formation of resistant bacteria or other major ocular side effects that would make your dry eye harder to treat over time, all in a simple spray and wipe solution. 
using Avanova for best results. Avanova is for patients of any age, easy to use, convenient, and soothing. One, wash hands prior to application. Two, remove any makeup or lotion around your eyes. Three, apply two to three sprays of Avanova to 100% cotton pad. Four, starting with one eye, wipe the base of the upper lashes. Five, you pull down your lower lid and wipe the base of your lower lashes. Six, with a new cotton pad, repeat on the other eye. Seven, use twice daily or as recommended by your doctor. In less than 60 seconds, you and Avanova have taken steps to treat the symptoms of your dry eye and protect your eyes from future damage. Avanova, ask your doctor if Avanova is right for you.